And uh, just quickly, I bet this is something uh, that uh, hardly anyone has heard of. I certainly hadn't. Uh, this is uh, Bill uh, HR 1836, which is going through the Congress. Uh, it's the bill that forged, forges U.S. Alliance and Directed Space Weapons and Cyber Warfare, and this is a quote from it. The Secretary of Defense, upon request of the Ministry of Defense of Israel and with the concurrence of the Secretary of State, is authorized to carry out research, development, test, and evaluation activities on a joint basis with Israel to establish directed energy capabilities that address threats to the United States, deployed forces of the United States or Israel. Any activities carried out in pursuant to such authority shall be conducted in a manner that appropriately protects sensitive information in the national security interests of the United States and the national uh, security interests of Israel. Well, I would say that they are probably uh, mutually exclusive. Um, anyway, uh, so this came via uh, uh, True News here. If you want to see it, is the actual um, bill itself, which you can uh, which you can open and 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 read to see what it actually says. But I'm just going to finish with a few minutes from um, from. Um, True news to see what they are saying, and I'll leave the uh, the link for both of these in the description box below. So. But today uh, we're going to be talking about a topic that uh, uh, really kind of snuck up on a lot of people and kind of snuck up on us today. And it's about a resolution that's winding its way through Congress right now. I said winding through the swamp of Congress. And it's uh, House Resolution 1837. Now, for most people, whenever you hear about these House resolutions, it kind of just goes over your head and everything. And most of the mainstream media, they never dig into these bills and these resolutions to uh, really unload them, unpack them. But wow, what did we, we found so much material in this House Resolution 1837. What is the actual? Is the United States Israel Cooperation Enhancement and Regional Security Act. Sounds innocuous. Um, Sounds um, like something you might support if you're if you're considering to defend allies or especially America's greatest ally. Clearly, the second no down the Middle East. Crazy keywords. There's no there, crazy right? keyword. You look at that bill and you might just uh, completely scroll over it. And actually, not that we scrolled over it, but we did notice this bill at APAC earlier this year, and we noted at the time that it's a new advancement of uh, of billions of dollars for Israel on a cyber command. But we didn't read the bill. Reading the bill now, Doug. Yes. Katie, bar the door. Yeah. There are literally provisions to build laser weapons in space with Israel in this bill. Right, and they're calling direct uh, directed energy weapons. But basically, you know, uh, if you think in terms of uh, classic uh, energy weapons, laser weapons from space, ground based uh, energy weapons. Uh, but this goes much further than just talking about. It, much further than just you know saying, yeah, let's work together on this. They're talking about establishing a directed energy command, a cyber command. This is uh, more than just talk. This is an implementation of integrating forces of our two militaries together into uniting to create these uh, new uh, new weapons and and to share that technology with Israel. It's uh, really it's. So there we are. Um, yeah. So um, we'll finish with that. Uh, um, so this is uh, Seymour Rocks reporting from down under. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 